A cryptocurrency is good or bad? Well, right now, it's proven in the crisis in Ukraine and Russia that there actually been a good effect. Ukraine has gained 100 million in contributions through cryptocurrencies. Why would you use cryptocurrencies? Because it's fast and it's secure. 100 million, some of that going to support them to get their defenses together from a military point of view and some of it from a humanitarian view. People are able to contribute fast. If you use a bank, it takes 24 hours to 48 hours to send money. But right now, people are using cryptocurrencies to get their money fast into the hands of the Ukrainian government and into the hands of people who are supporting the humanitarian push to try and make sure that people are looked after. Devere itself has already sent into Ukraine medical supplies. We're raising money. I'm going to be doing a half marathon and every time somebody contributes a dollar I'll match their dollar so if somebody contributes a hundred thousand I'll contribute a hundred thousand we want to make sure that the people of Ukraine are suffering so much and many of them displaced and having to start their lives all over again as refugees we want to contribute as much as we can but we're delighted to see in the financial industry that cryptocurrencies has actually proven itself to be the fastest and most secure way of countries being able to raise money. People said that Russia would use it to avoid sanctions. Not so, says chain analysis. There's no indication that that's what's happening. Okay, and don't forget, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they do leave a trail. So you can actually see where the transfers are being made. You can see where the wallets are, and you can actually see, particularly if it was large amounts of money, if there was an attempt to wash. Right now, Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are coming into age. We're seeing the bottom of the price range around 40,000. We see resistance of 46. But I think by the end of March, I predicted it when we were at 30 something that actually we'd see Bitcoin at 50,000 by the end of March. Two weeks to see if I'm right. What do you think? What's the price going to be? Leave a comment below. Please subscribe, please like, please share the video as I get out information on what's happening in the financial markets.